In this video, I am going to give you an overview of GPT crawler and will also be showing you how you can install this GPT crawler tool on your local Linux system. GPT crawler is a crawler that goes through your website to generate knowledge files for creating custom GPT models tailored to your own data. With GPT crawler, you can leverage web data to build custom AI assistants. It's quite a common need for various developers and companies to create specialized AI models tailored to their own business data and documents. And you might have your own personal needs on the same lines. But the problem is that training customized natural language models or LLMs from scratch is really time consuming and quite costly. GPT crawler offers another approach, which I'm going to show you shortly, where it crawls the websites to generate filtered knowledge files automatically that can be used to build custom GPT assistants. We can create AI assistants around specific sites and topics rather than general domain training on broad corpora of data with GPT crawler. And then all we need to do is to just change the URL and it will go and use that data from our website. Now what it does is that it crawls the website as I mentioned earlier to extract relevant data and then it can traverse any site which is publicly available and then grabs text or scrapes the text from pages based on configurable cascading style sheet selectors to filter out the noise. Then it post processes extracted text into condensed JSON document for upload because that is the sort of format which is preferred by GPT or ChatGPT. You can also build then custom AI assistants with the help of GPT. So for that you would need a paid account with OpenAI. But if you have any other means to create the custom GPTs with JSON data, you don't need OpenAI's account. Okay. Now I'll share the link to their GitHub repo in video's description so that you can also read along further. But now let's move on to the installation of GPT crawler on your local system. Let me quickly go to my Ubuntu system. Okay, so this is my Ubuntu system. Let me see. Okay, now this is better. I just increased the font size. Now, as far as installation is concerned, there are not many prerequisites you need. The only prerequisite which is a must is that you should have Node.js installed on your Ubuntu and the version of Node.js should be greater than 16. Latest should be good, the stable one. And if you don't know how to install Node.js on Ubuntu or how to use or upgrade the existing version, then I have a couple more videos on the channel which I just created today. You can watch them. Let me quickly show you my Ubuntu version first. So you can see that I am using Ubuntu 22.04. Now let me show you my node version. Let me first clear my screen. So node version is 21.5. Okay, so that's and you should also have npm installed, which is a node.js package manager. And that's the version I'm using 10.2.4. Okay, cool. Now let's clear it. So in the next step, we need to clone this crawler, uh, GPT crawlers GitHub repo, which I will share the link in video description and all you need to do is to this command quickly ls cd to that directory that is good let's clear the screen so that we will have so this is the content of this um, whole repo which you can see on your screen now in order to install it all you need to do is to run npm i and then it should go in and install everything let me run it so you can see that it is installing some of the dependencies. Let's wait for it to finish. Should not take too long in my opinion. So you can see that all the dependencies are installed within a few seconds. Let me quickly clear my screen. Now again to the ls-ltr. Now at this point you have installed the GPT crawler. Now it is about configuring it to use your own website and the main file to do this as you can see on your screen is config.ts this one so let's open it in our maybe vi editor or editor of your own choice now 
In this one, they already have given an example. They are importing this config and then from there, this is where you specify your URL. So they have given this example of builder.io and this should match this select um, website, the documents and then these are the these are the many pages you want to crawl from their website and this will be the resultant file in JSON format. So if you have your own website, your own documents, you feel free to replace these values over there. So we don't need to, let's get out of this file. Okay. Now in order to start the crawler, all you need to run is this npm start and that should start the crawler. Let me do it. So you can see that it has started to crawl it and it's running very smoothly and it is going page by page and as you might have remembered we have specified 50 pages so it will go through all of them. So let's wait for it to finish. There you go it has uh, crawled all the pages on our website and it has produced this output dash one dot json let's quickly check where that file is as well as dash ltr and you can see that this is the file it has generated now all we need to do is to grab this file and then upload it to openai platform and from there we can create our own custom ai assistant let me also show you the steps now these are the steps which you need to follow in order to create your own GPT or custom GPT based off that JSON data which we have just created. All you need to do is to go to this chat.openai.com and log in with your paid account and then click on your name in the bottom left corner and then choose my GPTs. Then create a GPT, configure and under knowledge choose the upload file and let me show you to add the chat gpt platform let me log in there quickly so this is uh, where i have already logged in in chat.openai.com and then click on create a gpt let's click it here now here select configure and in this configure you can just say testing and just give it any description and i'll just say reads through my website data and then you can just conversation starter just leave it for now so this is the crux of it in the knowledge one just upload that json file and you can see that it i am uploading my json file and if it complains about file being too large then just uh, separate out the file in multiple small files and upload all of them this is good and that's about it. This is your custom GPT. You can either save it or you can uh, simply go and check it out. So let me quickly talk with it. What is this data about? Let's wait and searching my knowledge. And there you go you can see that it was able to identify that this is from builder.io and all that stuff and it is giving me all that information which i'm asking it so pretty cool i would say and it goes on and on then you can save it you can download it and that is your custom gpt and on the same line you can even build your ai assistant and embed it in your product and that's how easy it is and there are a lot of use cases which i can think of but i will let your imagination run wild on it so this is it guys um, this is how you install gpt crawler and start using it with the help of openai if you're already using it for any use case let me know very happy to hear about your use case and if you are struggling getting stuck anywhere let me know and i'll be happy to help and of course if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much